Welcome to stage 4 of the Tour of Switzerland. Just under 25 kilometers to go on this stage, which should see a showdown of the sprinters, the likes of Urs Foiler and Tor Hushov, maybe Matteo Trentin as well. Of course, none of the really big names are here, but that's because of the mountainous nature of the race, so an opportunity for some of the other teams to pick up a stage win. We're coming up to an intermediate sprint point, and Urs Foiler looks very interested in it, and so too does Tor Hushov. Here comes the lead out for both of those sprinters. And it's Hushov and Foiler. It's going to be very, very close. I think Foiler on the left just barely nicked Hushov on the line. So he'll take the small batch of points and bonus seconds. But a very close sprint between those two, perhaps a sign of things to come in around 18 kilometers time. But the pace has really slowed. There are no breakaways today, no major attacks. A very mild day of racing in the Tour of Switzerland. Almost like a Sunday club ride, but that'll all change over the next four stages once we get in the big mountains. But Zulu Kingdom interested in keeping control at the moment. La Vie Claire as well, perhaps thinking about Cyril Guimar. Now, though we're on a bit of a false flat here, it is a categorized climb, in fact category 2, so a good bunch of points on offer for the first person over the top. But I don't see Rudy Donnans at the front of this group, so I don't think he'll be going for that. There's Pacho Rodriguez of Lobby Claire, so he will take the points over the top. The climber we've seen almost nothing of this season. Finally getting at least a little bit of attention. We we're heading up to 10 kilometers to go and it's all downhill to the finish. All 70 riders still in the group. See the yellow jersey of Jan Ulrich, he is still here. A reminder that the leader in the points competition was a red jersey in the Tour of Switzerland, so that will be Pascal Richard. And it's a pink jersey for the King of the Mountains leader, which is Rudy Donnens. So you can see that Pascal Richard is just behind Urs Foiler in the red, not to be confused with the Fiat jerseys. Coming up on 5Ks to go. Lobby Claire looking to take control for Seal Guimar. Urs Foiler, though, he has a train starting the form. Zulu Kingdom starting the lineup for Hushov. Heading up to this final left hand bend, 3Ks to go. It's a straight shot between here and the finish, and here comes the lead out for Foiler, but they've gone too early. So Fia have bungled that just a little bit, but they have to watch for it now anyway, and Urs Foiler's going for it in a dead sprint. Watch out for Tua Horshov on the right hand side, but Foiler will just hang on over Hushov. Trenton will take third, Heroina fourth, and Thierry Marie taking fifth place. So Fiat were in control and then they weren't, they went way too early, but Urs Foiler saved the day with a great sprint, finishing just ahead of Tor Hushov, who timed his effort well, but just a little too late in the end. So Fiat as the team picking up their second victory of the season, and a long way after the first one, because their only other win was the very first race of the season. But their first stage one in any stage race. very good result for the team. Hushov close to picking up a surprise win for Zulu Kingdom, but not good enough. Trenton up there in third place, Pira went up fourth. So the men we expected to be up there today were up in the top five or so. No change in the overall classification. Jan Ulrich still leads by that one second over Henri Unglad. Earth Spoiler is the new leader in the points competition. Thanks to the numerous points he's picked up in an intermediate sprints, he overtakes Pascal Richard. Rudy Donnan still leading in the King of the Mountains competition. We'll see if that changes on tomorrow's stage. And Blackberry still leads in the team classification. We enter the big mountains tomorrow. We'll see you then.